what's up YouTube so as you can see by the title of this video um, why do we fall why do we backslide right um, this is my second time coming on here and really just having to like really expose myself uh, for you know doing things that I know I'm not supposed to be doing and I just want to be honest and open you know what I'm saying about my relationship my walk with Christ and how it's not exactly the most easiest thing being that I'm young and just coming from what I used to be doing you know and just automatically shifting things um so it was probably like two weeks ago you know what I'm saying like I was on TikTok maybe a week and a half ago I don't know I was on TikTok and I had kind of like seen this post and it was like you know it's this famous girl that she pretty popular on TikTok she made a post and she was saying like how much more how much fun she used to have back when she was in the world before she gave her life to Christ and you know what I'm saying that kind of had made me start thinking and you know I started thinking back on how like I used to have fun and stuff like that so you know like probably like the past couple weeks or whatever I really just like had um because I work in the hood you know what I'm saying so when I'm working I be seeing all type of different females and y'all know how girls dress you know what I'm saying during the summertime they just be out and you know what I'm saying so it's a, it's a lot of different things to look at and God actually delivered me from lust of the eyes but I started falling back into it just from looking at girls and just them walking past them looking back at me or whatever you know what I'm saying so um, I started falling back into that and um, I started even like talking to girls when they walk past me or you know just things like that started having making conversation with females again and stuff and just not acting like you know what I'm saying um, not acting like a Christian man just acting worldly and stuff with these girls and I knew that I wasn't supposed to be doing it but that's just what I was doing um, and I ended up actually talking to a girl again and I ended up actually t I ended up taking her out on the date um, upon me taking her out on the date you know God actually started speaking to me about some of the things um, about her past and stuff like that and you know some of the things that she went through and it was crazy because it's kind of like this girl that I was that I took on this date like literally kind of like reminded me of my ex with her characteristics from her life experiences to her ex and to even to her favorite food bro it was kind of weird and I started noticing all these signs you know what I'm saying she was just packaged different but she was like the same girl I'm not even gonna lie you know what I'm saying um and you know um I have a profit for a mom so <laughs> so I was like actually with this girl uh, uh at work I had picked her up for my lunch break and I actually butt down my mom. I don't never butt down my mom like on accident, none of that, like it's crazy. And my mom started listening to our conversation and my mom started getting some of the same words that I had got about this girl. Um, about like, um, cause the girl, cause me and the girl actually talked about, you know what I'm saying, how many bodies we had and all that. And she gave me a real low number, but her true number, you know what I'm saying, was actually way higher than the number that she gave me. And I know that because God told me that too. And then my mom had confirmed it. Um, it was a crazy number, you know what I'm saying? And I kind of knew that she was lying anyways about it too, because just based off our conversation and how she was already talking about, after just a week of knowing me, already talking about us, you know what I'm saying, doing stuff. You know, girls typically with a lower body count who really aren't on that, you know what I'm saying, aren't gonna be already talking about doing certain things you know what i'm saying and this ain't really no judgment to her it's just the truth you know um also i had got a word that she was molested when she was a kid god told me this but i disregarded it but upon my mom hearing our conversation she called me after i was done you know um hanging out with that girl and she was like you know i heard that conversation and god told me that she was molested god even told me what her body count was blase blase you know what i'm saying and this girl um you know had a past of just uh you know working in the nightclub and stuff like that and some comments that she made about working in the nightclub kind of like shook me up a little bit too about you know what i'm saying like about how many bodies she really may have and just her past and all that and whatnot you know what i'm saying but regardless though i knew that i wasn't doing the things that i knew i was supposed to be doing because i started back you know what i'm saying conforming to this world I was being so stubborn because even though my mom was giving me these words and God was giving me these words, I still was um, being very, very, um, you know, stubborn and just um, disobedient to the fullest. Okay, 
to the fullest. And God was giving me, even, God was even giving me dreams. He gave me dreams three nights in a row, okay, about what I was doing. The first dream, it was these three men, and they were they were like sitting like some. I was at a restaurant. It was these three men. They were sitting like I don't know, like ten tables down from me, and. It, it's almost like I could just see them. It was like a vision. I seen them staring at me 10 tables down and they were like laughing at me and they were saying he really doesn't see us, okay? I woke up and I prayed about this dream and God basically revealed um, that the devil was near, okay? And the devil felt as though I did not see him, which I mean, I guess I didn't and I did in a sense because I was still, you know, going with it. You know what I'm saying? But this was out of my own pride, out of my own flesh that I was wanting to feed again. You know what I'm saying? My desire was to have sex with this girl and then pretty much start back having sex again. I mean, it just it started hitting me quickly. You know, me wanting to fall back into my old ways. God has even instructed me to literally stay with my mom. You know what I'm saying? Because I can move out. I can get my own apartment if I really wanted to. Like, I, I make the, enough money to do that for myself. You know what I'm saying? But... God doesn't want me to do that currently right now. And he's humbled me and he's told me these things, you know, and for good reason. And I feel as though he's doing this too, to strengthen me, to humble me so that I don't fall back into this because I do have my weak moments. So he showed me this in a dream. Then in another dream, I was literally at like a school and there was a, there was a, a lady talking. I was sitting behind this lady. She was talking to a crowd with thousands and she turned around and she looked at me and, and, and she was like, you need to follow um, Apostle Paul's church. You need to go to Apostle Paul's church. That's what she said in the dream. And then it was an old ex that came up, an old ex from high school that I always felt like I did wrong and I wanted to get back with. She came up and, you know, it's like in the dream we made up and then she was like sitting on my shoulder and I literally stopped paying attention to this woman who turned around and I was all... In, in the girl's face, you know what I'm saying? And God was basically showing me in this dream that I was literally just ignoring him for females. I was ignoring him. It was also a spirit of backwardness because of the fact that I was, um, because of the fact that that was an old girl, you know what I'm saying, that I used to talk to. I was basically going backwards. Like I'm going back into my old ways, going back into my old patterns. This is what God was showing me in this dream, okay? God also showed me about how I was going backwards through another dream because it was some of my old friends in the dream. I was in the passenger seat. My friend was literally um, going in reverse. My old friend was going in reverse and literally trying to crash my car. And I was like getting so upset with him in the dream. I'm like, bro, why is you trying to crash my car? Luckily though, in the dream, he couldn't crash my car for some reason. It's like the car was going through objects, but he was trying to crash it. But the car was going through. God basically showing me that he's sparing me. You know what I'm saying? But I am going backwards though, you know? So he's giving me all of these signs. And he was giving me all of these dreams, okay? I even had another dream another night where my mom was in the dream and she was telling me that the enemy wants me to go back and start having sex again. The enemy wants me to fall back into this plan. The objective of this girl is to really just even have sex with me as well. You know what I'm saying? Um, so it was just crazy. I was having all these dreams and I was having all these signs and God was speaking to me, but I was still ignoring his voice. You know what I'm saying? I was still ignoring his voice. But... Luckily, um, you know, after all of this, I, I didn't um, have sex with this girl and I did have the opportunity where I could have honestly, you know what I'm saying, if I would have kept trying and stuff, because it was all, only a week of me talking to her, but I really could have had I kept going, but I just cut it off like literally, like probably I cut it off two days ago, like literally. And now I'm making this video because God wants me to expose myself and just expose how easily it was for me to backslide. Now, because I was even doing all of this, you know, I, I really started feeling too shameful and, you know, convicted and I was feeling real confused. And that's why I kind of haven't even been posting on none of my social medias. I stopped posting on Instagram. I stopped posting on TikTok. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I wasn't posting and I haven't posted no YouTube videos, you know, in, in a little second because of my shame. And, you know, and, and we see in Proverbs 11 and 2, when pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with lowly is wisdom, you know what I'm saying? So with humility and, you know, really actually following God, there is wisdom and there is no shame, you know what I'm saying? But the fact that I started being prideful and wanted to go into my own flesh, it was holding me back, you know what I'm saying? And I really started, and God really started placing this on my heart that it's literally people 
who are watching me. It's literally people who are, you know, following and following me and people who aren't following me, who, you know what I'm saying, are supposed to be blessed by me, who are people that I'm supposed to literally reach out to and, and bring them to Christ. You know what I'm saying? And it's selfish of me to want to go back into my old ways and not walk into my calling. You know, and on top of that, invite the inviting the devil back in into my life. You know what I'm saying? By doing these things, it's selfish and it's very stupid of me. You know what I'm saying? So I want to actually openly repent. I repent um, to the people watching this video, to the people that I've blessed so far. You know what I'm saying? For being selfish and going back in my old ways and not stepping into the light and the purpose that God has for me. You know what I'm saying? Now, it's so easy to fall back into temptation and things like that because, you know what I'm saying, we are human. And, you know, and if you really, and, and, and it's, it's crazy because, like, I was getting all of these seeds planted in me by God, but I was still choosing to be stubborn. And I feel like a lot of you guys struggle with that same thing. Like, you know you're supposed to live a certain way, but you still choose to be um, the way that you want to be. You know what I'm saying? So I understand that. I understand that it's not easy at all. You know what I'm saying? But I suggest, you know what I'm saying, that you really start to fear the Lord because if you do not fear the Lord, then you won't, you know what I'm saying, live a, a righteous life. And fearing and fearing the Lord means literally keeping his commandments. Okay. Fearing the Lord means that you're willing to literally turn away from wickedness, turn away from sin, and literally just follow him because you know that he is the one with the final say so. You shouldn't it, the Bible actually tells us not to fear someone who can literally kill kill the body but cannot kill the spirit because God can do both. God can kill your body and he can also kill your spirit. He can he can he's the one that places you in hell on judgment day. Okay? He has the final say so. Okay? So it's very imperative and important that you fear God and that you follow God because in Proverbs 9, it even says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the holy is understanding, okay? And we also see in scripture, in Colossians 3, 5 through 6, mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, and inordinate affection, evil um, concubine. Con and covetousness which is idolatry for which these these things sake the wrath of god cometh on the children of disobedience okay and god was giving me all these signs and he was sparing me but it was only a matter of time before his wrath was going to fall on me and if i would have moved out god was telling me you know what i'm saying that if i would have moved out a lot of things in my life would have shifted and went down downhill you know what i'm saying because i really could have got an apartment like this you know, because I started wanting to go back into my flesh and uh, and unfollow and, and, and not follow the things that God is telling me to do. But I'm glad that I called myself and I'm glad that God has um, revealed a lot of these things to me. And he wasn't allowing me to fall back into how I was, you know what I'm saying, by giving me signs and, you know, just talking to me. And I even had got on TikTok one one day and I fell across a video and there was a man talking and he was talking about how much he struggled with masturbation. And he was just like, ask, he, he said he, he went back and he asked God after he got delivered from it. God, why didn't you allow me to already get delivered from it? And God told him because you didn't hate it enough, which is very, very powerful because if you still actually love the world, you still want to have attachment to the world, then it's not really much God can do for you. It's going to have to be a decision that you make. You have to find this world, the worldly things to be detestable to you. You have to find fornication, masturbation, um, all of these sins to be detestable to you for you to make that shift. OK, so it's really on you and your heart. But God can assist you along the way. You can ask God to heal your heart, to create in you a clean heart and renew a right spirit within you. You know what I'm saying? According to Psalms 51 and 10. But you have to do these things. You have to make the change. OK, so God had to, you know what I'm saying? God allowed this to happen to me just to show me that honestly, I'm nothing without him and that I, I, I won't be happy unless I'm continuing to serve him. Because I really did start to get unhappy with myself. And, you know, what I'm saying and I'm glad that I just manned up and I text and I, you know, I cut off that girl and, you know, and I and I, you know, I'm just. I'm going to try to really, really do my best and try to keep up with my prayer life like how I was before I just almost fell. 
you know what I'm saying, short. But hopefully this video blessed you and it encouraged you. And all I can say is that I just hope that this video opens your eyes in the name of Jesus Christ so that you change from your iniquity, so that you change from your flesh, you know what I'm saying? You stop chasing after your flesh and start chasing after Jesus Christ. Because at the end of the day, he's what's worth it, okay? And God has even revealed to me that, you know, my wife is actually going to come. But not to focus on that, you know what I'm saying? Really focus on my purpose with him. That was another reason, too, why I started um, falling back, too, was me me chasing after um, um, money and stuff like that, too. Because I have a side hustle that God told me to pick back up on. And, you know, I started and when he told me to pick back up on that, I literally put him to the side as well. And I started really I started really focusing on my little side hustle that I got going on. But God doesn't want me to solely focus on that. He told me that he's going to give me the desires of my heart as long as I seek him. It even says that in scripture as well. You know what I'm saying? So as long as I'm seeking him, God is going to add the riches and the glory onto me. He's going to add that favor onto me. But right now, my purpose is to serve Jesus Christ no other purposes because he's going to add all those things onto me just like he will add all those things onto you if you serve and you follow him so he's the number one he's the number one thing in our life he's the number one go-to okay for anything that we want and he will add everything onto us the desires of our of our heart for real you know what i'm saying and i just know that i'm gonna look back on this day i'm gonna look back on this experience in life you know what I'm saying? And I'm going to just be like, wow, like I'm glad that I gave my life back to Christ. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking back on this and now I'm here with a family and I'm, you know, I have the riches and the glory that he's promised me. You know what I'm saying? And I believe that in my heart that I know that's going to happen. Even if it takes a few years or whatever, I know that I have to continue on this journey in the name of Jesus. But I just hope that this blessed and encouraged you guys in the name of Jesus Christ and that this opens someone's eyes that watched this video. Thank you.